Hello everybody, my today's topic is merits and demerits of joint Hindu family business. So let's begin with the merits. The first point of merit is effective control. The control of the business lies in the hands of Karta and there is a centralized management. So there is an effective control because all the decisions are taken faster and promptly and thus they grab many of the business opportunities. Next point of merit is continued business existence. In case of joint Hindu family business, there is a there is a stable life of business because even if a, there is a death in the family, suppose there is a death of Karta, then the next eldest member of the family becomes Karta and the business becomes stable. In case if they want to terminate the business, there should be mutual consent of each and every members, but generally here, in case of joint Hindu family business, there is a continued existence of the business because it goes on from generations to generations. Third point of merit is limited liability of members. In case of joint Hindu family business, the other members enjoys limited liability. That means their share in the business is the one which is at stake in case the business is running in loss. Their, their only business share will be sold for the payment of debt and other personal acquired property will be safe. Therefore, this is one of the big merit for the members. Last point that is fourth point is increased loyalty and cooperation. There is a direct relationship between effort and reward. As this is a family business, so greater sense of loyalty and belongingness is there. Members really work hard to generate profit and for the reputation and image of the business. Now let's begin with the demerits. The first point of demerit is limited resources. Now this business depends mainly on ancestral property. So there is a limited resources as a result they cannot go for expansion and growth. Next point of demerit is unlimited liability of karta this is one of the biggest demerit for the karta because even his self acquired property will be sold to pay the debt in case the business assets are not sufficient to pay off the debts now third point of demerit is dominance of karta dominance of karta is one of the demerit because after uh, taking the rigorous decisions and everything, a situation of monopoly is created. As a result, the members become very much dissatisfied and sometimes even conflict arises. So even which leads to family defragmentation. And the last point that is fourth point is limited managerial skills. As the karta is taking all the decisions for the business, he is not an expert in each and every field. Therefore, there is a limited managerial skills which can also lead to loss of the business. Thank you.